Hello and welcome to Poplar's YouTube channel. This is Jessica and today I'm going to explain how you can use WordPress post scheduling, the newest integration on Poplar. So maybe your blog is a self-hosted one, so everything is covered by WordPress, so you have a server there, um, everything is maintained by uh, WordPress, or maybe your blog is simply hosted on WordPress, which means that your blog is a subdomain. Okay, so um, in this case, I'm going to take two examples. The first one, self-hosted, I'm gonna take as an example my personal website, which is self-hosted on WordPress. Let's head to my website right away. Pablo's um, newest integration, which is WordPress post scheduling, needs a plugin installed. But in my case, I don't need any plugin. If you have a WordPress version of 5.6 or lower, then you need to download a plugin which is called Application Password. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first, let's, add, let's go to Plugins and click Add New. And now we are going to search for Application Passwords. Let's click Enter. And the first result will be this one, application password. Um, let's click activate. And we have uh, our newest plugin right here. But the second thing that you need to do is head to users and click profile. Right here, I'm going to make sure to scroll down. And right here, I'm going to need to add um, a new application password name. In our case, that's Pablar. And let's click this one. I have a new password generated for Pablar. I'm gonna make sure to copy this one. And now let's head to Pablar. Let's click self hosted. Being that um, I have already copied the password, I'm gonna make sure to um, paste the password first like this. Um, right here, I don't need to use my um, popular uh, email. I need to add my WordPress API credentials. So I'm going to add my email here. And now I'm going to add my WordPress site URL. Everything seems correct, so now let's make sure to click Add. Let's wait just a few seconds. Right here we have our WordPress, so if I click this one, everything is correct. I'm posting as, uh, as the admin. Uh, I have other admins here on my website, so yeah, everything looks good. So right now, let's see how we can add um, a blog that is hosted on WordPress and in this case I'm going to take Poplar's blog which is a subdomain. So let's click host it on WordPress. These are all the details. Um, let's click approve and now Poplar will be able to scratch the one blog that I have here which is Poplar's blog. Simply make sure to click on that and everything will work properly. Right here we are under um, Pablo's account. Uh, here we have Pablo's blog. I'm posting as my name in this case. Um, so right here we can create a brand new article. So I'm going to cover every important element that Pablo supports when it comes to WordPress post scheduling. The first one is the title. So let's find an interesting title. Um, okay, let's go with Digital Nomads in 2022. For example, this is uh, the title of our new article. Right here, we can start writing some text or maybe we can click this plus icon and use one of these elements that Tabler supports. Um, the first one is text. Maybe you don't need to click on that. Simply click enter or return on your keyboard and simply start writing. Uh, the second one is heading, so let's click on that one. Maybe we want to write the benefits of being a digital nomad in 2022. 
Um, right here, we can make the proper modifications to this heading. So if I click this little icon right here on the left, I can make the proper changes to this heading. If I click that, I can see that I can make this heading he uh, heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Also, we can see that there is an upper arrow and down arrow. We can drag this section wherever we want on the article. Or simply click delete if you want to delete the whole section. So let's click um, enter again on our keyboard. Let's click the plus icon. Maybe we want to add a list. First, flexible schedule. Second, Mm, let's go with um, amazing salaries, for example. Okay, so right here we can click the plus icon again. Maybe you want to add a table. Uh, you can use a delimiter. You can add some media. And this is my favorite part. So let's click media. Um, Publer supports multiple um, media types. Here we have um, our simple table which has tons of functionalities. First one, uh, you can upload from external URLs. You see a very beautiful GIF on, uh, on Google, simply copy the URL, paste it right here and Publer will make sure to download it. Same goes for videos and photos. Or you can import from your Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, find some unique images for free uh, on Unsplash and also you can use your media library right within Publer or you can design from scratch. Publer currently supports two amazing designing tools which uh, don't need any experience. So in my case, uh, these both of these are very interesting because um, I'm not a graphic designer and I don't um, think I'm ever going to be because Canva and Vista Create, which is Crello, um, have made things very, very easy for us. Um, so. Yeah, you can use one of these. Um, just for the sake of this example, I'm going to mention that Canva, uh, if you go with Canva, you can sign into your account on Canva, whether it is a free one or, or a paid plan, you can use all the elements that your plan allows. While Vista Create or Prello means that um, you can sign in with your Vista Create or Prello account, but if you don't have an account there, Publer provides a brand new um pro plan account so you can use vista create for free within Publer. okay also you can um upload from your device of course from your computer let's add an image here i'm going to go with unsplash very quickly um yes this makes sense you have tons of free time let's suppose to uh to go biking when you are a digital nomad so let's wait for the media to be attached and here you go. If you click uh, right below this image, you will be able to add some extra text or elements that uh, you need. So let's jump to this section right here. Um, if you click this one, this will be um, the thumbnail image that you want to use for the blog. So let's create, let's find one. Let's find another one, not the bike one. Okay. Um, okay, let's go with that one. I, I know it's not... Um, pretty uh, relatable to this um, title, but anyway, here you go. And you can also write an excerpt, uh, which is a small part of your article that tells uh, the readers that, hey, this article is about this thing, digital nomads benefits in 2022. Here you go. Also, you can decide for uh, to choose the categories. Um, in this case, uh, I have all the categories that uh, our uh, our blog on Publer uh, provides. So I'm going to go with marketing in this case, and let's select uh, some tags. Maybe search for digital marketing, marketing, and yeah, I think that's enough. Some other elements that Publer supports are 
uh, follow-up comments. Maybe there is uh, there is a comment, there is a location, there is some references. There are some references that you want to add uh, to to your blog, but they don't look very very good um, if you attach them to the article. So you simply want to add them as a follow-up comment. So as a comment, and you can do that if you click this icon, add follow-up comments, and add all the references. Click save, and here we go. Uh, you can use the auto delete function, which means that, for example, you are organizing a winter campaign and uh, the winter campaign ends on February 28, 2022. Uh, so you want to automatically delete this, um, delete this article. So you don't want this article to be any more live uh, after that specific date. And you can do that if you click auto delete, select it, and you can delete after you can decide for... Um, when you want to delete this. For example, after one week. Click save and here we go. An amazing opportunity in case you create a brand new article on, uh, on Publer for your WordPress blog is that you can automatically share it across other socials. Um, you can click this auto share and you can decide to share this new article um, to, for example, Facebook, Let's go with LinkedIn. Okay, here we go. You can also decide to share after a specific delay. Uh, for example, 10 minutes after this article has went live. Click save and yeah, here we go. Uh, another way to keep everything organized and popular is if you add labels. So let's create a brand new label. New articles. Uh, let's give it a color. Click plus and then click save. So let's schedule this new post. If you click this uh, drop down arrow, you can see all the modes of scheduling the popular support, which is schedule manually, uh, auto schedule, recycling, and recurring. So, for the sake of this example, I'm gonna go with schedule. Um, let's go for Sunday at 12 o'clock. Click schedule. Perfect. Let's go to calendar and select WordPress. Here we have our newest article that is already uh, scheduled at 12 o'clock on Sunday and here is the little label. You can click on that and you can see and make any changes that you want. Also, you can publish it right away. Okay, I hope um, this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to add them all below uh, under the comments and we will make sure to answer them all. Thank you for your attention, thank you for your time, and enjoy Pablo. Bye.